do this story on the creationism, because this is pretty uh, stunning. Now, I have here in my hands a picture of a fourth grade science quiz that apparently was posted on Facebook. It is from March of this year. It is graded 100, A+. Plus. Phil Plate at Slate wrote about this. He wanted to verify that this was true. He has verified it. Here are the questions. The test is entitled Dinosaurs, Genesis and the Gospel. The question number one, true or false, the earth is billions of years old. The answer on this graded A test is false. Number two, true or false, dinosaurs lived millions of years ago. The answer graded on this A plus test is false. Three, on what day did God make dinosaurs? Answer filled in sixth. Number four, true or false, dinosaurs live with people. The answer on this graded A paper, true. Number five, what did people or animals eat in the beginning? Plants. Number six, which one fits the behemoth described in Job 40? Circle the picture. Of course, it's the dinosaur. And number seven, true or false, if animals has sharp teeth, it must mean it's a meat eater. False. So, ladies and gentlemen, there you have this fourth grade science quiz, graded 100. First off, let me just say this, as having a first grader in public school in New York, I can tell you that if my kid got this test, never mind what the answers are, true or false, but this test for a fourth grader is appalling. Just the, even if you can't accept the answers, just the level of rigor that is involved in this is appalling. This is an actual test given at the Blue Ridge Christian Academy. It's a private religious school that can legally teach this. That is outraging the, uh, the author here. My complaint of one is one of simple reality. Young Earth creationism is wrong, and it's certainly not science. The promulgator of this truly awful group answers in Genesis, for which a year has been a front, a font of nonsensical attacks on science and reality, uh, has apparently helped with the curriculum at this school. The author writes, this isn't learning, it's indoctrination. It's the exact opposite of inquisitiveness. It's children just being told what the creationists want the answer to be despite the evidence. And it's not just that these children are being told something wrong, it's that they're also being told to simply accept it and deny actual evidence they come across. Future generations, folks. And if these people have their way, not only will they continue to teaching this in their private academies or madrasas, as they're known in other parts of the world, but they will also insist that this creationism be taught in public schools, and they will also insist that public funding in the form of vouchers subsidizes this being taught to other students. So uh, welcome to the future, folks. And I still can't get off of how remedial that test was. You're still doing one sentence old true and false questions for fourth graders? Man, oh man. Future is so bright, I gotta wear uh, shades. <laughs>